that starts fast. <laughs> How are you doing? How you doing on this Sunday? Good, I hope. I've been thinking a lot about these scriptures of Mark 7. The whole thing, but today it was uh, 7, 1 through 9 is what I was thinking of that steered me to something that's always been bothering me for a long time is because our officials in Oklahoma have called their taxes on tobacco and alcohol a sin tax. Whoa, wait a minute. How do you get by with saying that? As far as I can see, it's their sin for taxing these things more than anybody else. And since I found out that they seceded from the United States, they are pretty well establishing their own religion here, which I can see that the bad things that keep covered up and support people in is it the theocracy of Satanism, as far as I can tell. So, as I go through it, this is the scriptures that I read that I think pertains to this. <coughs> Mark 7, 1 to 9. Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashing hands, they found fault. So, personally, it sounds like you get a fine for that kind of thing in a place that has a theocracy in place. That would be a sin tax, wouldn't it? It's really always a tax for something above what you pay for a product, right? For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands oft, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be which they have received to hold, as the washing of cups and pots, brazen vessels and of tables. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition? of the elders, but eat bread with unwashing hands. He answered and said unto them, Well hath Esaias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men, for laying aside the commandment of God. You hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. And I know it's difficult to understand what they were talking about in there, but it's difficult to understand anyone from state to state, country to country. Even if they speak English, it is tough to understand. But this I do now understand. Their tradition was their law. Just like the sin laws here in Oklahoma. You get fined for it. 
or jail for it. Because this is what they call their religion. And that's how you can find out who they are worshipping. Pretty much what I think. And I'm wondering how long is Oklahoma going to get away from succeeding in installing their theocracy uh, which is one of those things that I think that uh, churches were against called an alternate religion oh they're not going to call it Satan thing because then people would freak out so in public they're going to call it something else but uh, what are they going to do about them seceding from our United States of course they take money from the federal government for whatever they can and stick it in their pockets but they won't obey the laws even many of our senators have their own income and businesses where they hire lawbreakers I won't go into that, but I'm telling you, this is not the God we worship that they do, because they just want the mom, mammon money. <laughs> I think they worship mammon, really. But you do your research and find out. If you ever lived in Oklahoma, you have a duty to research. And I hope you find everything you need to know. God bless you, and may you find the truth. Have a good one, night or day, wherever you are. Have a sweet one. Night.